everyone welcome back so I am loving this match okay I was looking at a different lipstick to wear with this shirt and I found this and I'm like or I spotted this and I'm like I'm gonna try that on my hand I try it on my hand and well I've watched washed it off since but putting it on my hand actually made me look at it and go like OMG, like it just looks so similar and you wouldn't think looking at this quickly but then it's like identical. <laughs> so I thought I would do another one of these tags where you can get to know me because face it I've been on here since January 1st. I have uh, over 120 videos. I'm not sure exactly how many I have, but I have a lot. <laughs> um, but I want to talk about more personal questions that you might want to know. So I found the throwback tag. <laughs> so this takes me back to when I was younger. <laughs> um, First question is, what year were you born in? I didn't know they go back that far. <laughs> the dinosaurs? 1974. Do you have any pictures of yourself from when you were younger, if you do show them? I do, but they're on my phone, which you are right now. <laughs> but I will post some pictures of myself when I was younger because I do have some pictures of pictures. <laughs> what TV shows did you watch growing up? Well, Degrassi, Junior High, and I've watched it since the kids of Degrassi Street, so that was my all-time favorite, favorite, favorite show to watch. My favorite cartoon was Tom and Jerry and Garfield. Um, I also liked Punky Brewster and The Facts of Life. If any of you guys remember those shows, you're as old as I am. <laughs> um, what did you want to be when you grow up and do you still want to be that? I wanted to be a doctor more than anything in the world. I took a course called biomedics um i have a girlfriend who i still talk to from uh that time of my life and she was actually in we both took this course called biomedics and i believe it was a grade 12 course that we were taking when we were in grade 10. <laughs> and do i still want to be that no i i don't have what's up here <laughs> number five show a video of yourself when you were younger well i would but we didn't have video back then <laughs> i'm serious we didn't have a video camera we had a polaroid uh that was our oh my goodness you can get your picture right away yeah <laughs> I'm aging myself here, guys. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> Hope you appreciate it. Cause after this, I'm gonna have to go cry. <laughs> uh, what was your favorite toys to play with? Um, mine were anything Garfield, like the little figurines or a teddy bear, anything Garfield. And My Little Pony and Cabbage Patch Kid. What's the most embarrassing thing you can remember doing? Well, let's see. That would be when I told you, I think I told you this story once in one of my videos. I don't remember which one, so I can't even think of which one they even post because I have no idea which one but I did mention it to you guys it was the time that me and my best friend were hanging out with this guy and we went behind my house 
and he was kissing Tara, and then he came and kissed me, and in the middle of the kiss, I stopped, just stopped. I was doing everything right, but I stopped and said, how do you do this? <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> I wanted to like to stick my head in my shirt and run home. I was so embarrassed. The things we do. <laughs> uh, read something you wrote when you were in kindergarten. Oh gosh, I remember writing I love you, Baba. Um, and I have a ton of cards somewhere. I don't know where, but they were addressed to her. I used to make her homemade cards and then it went to more graduated homemade cards, and then it went to bought cards. <laughs> the three songs you loved to listen to as a child. Um, every time you go away from Paul Young. Every time you go away, you take a piece of me with you. Tr um, True Blue from Madonna. True blue, baby, I love you, I love you. And um, I would have to say, oh gosh, I probably have to say girls just want to have fun. Those are three songs that I loved. What was one of one? What was one funny thing you dressed up as a Halloween for when I was younger? Uh, when I was, I think I was eight, um, my mom was visiting for, uh, whatever reason, probably to ask my grandma for money or something, <laughs> um, and she made me a gypsy costume, so I went out as a gypsy, it was a homemade costume with the head thing and the makeup all over. <laughs> Tell a funny story of something you remember happening when you were young. <laughs> oh yes, how can I forget this? I was in grade one. <laughs> the teacher left the room and I got dared to pull down my pants from one of the mean boys. And this was one of the guy, like boys that, I'm not gonna even say guy, because they weren't guys yet. They were boys. And it was one of them that used to make fun of my voice. Like, Brandy, but you're doing it again. They'd make fun of my voice like crazy. Well, it was one of them. So I called them the mean boys. And he dared me to take off my pants, and I did. And the teacher walked in. <laughs> and when I began to tell her what, what happened and who did this or asked me to do it, I went to say Desmond, because that was his name, uh, and he took his pencil and shoved it in my arm and broke off the lead in my arm. Uh, he was the only um, black kid in my school, actually. So for him to be making fun of me at that time was not really wise, because he got picked on a lot too. Not by me, by others, but... I just kept my nose clean because he was bothersome enough to me. Um, and I, I felt bad that he was getting bothered, but I mean, there was nothing I could do. I mean, I, I couldn't even defend my own self. So. <laughs> but yeah, so that was that. I'm like, the teacher walks in and I'm like standing there with my pants down. <laughs> They were making fun of my underwear because I, I left my underwear on. <laughs> and my grandma buys the most hideous underwear for me. The hideous clothes, actually. <laughs> Everything was plaid and brown and just icky. <laughs> Are there any special things you've kept from when you were a child? And uh, yes, my grandma 
has a wedding photo of her and my grandpa, and I have the original wedding photo, her wedding photo of her standing, and it looks like in front of something where there's white smoke, and I'll take a picture of it and insert it somehow, and I'll show you. It's really pretty. It's upstairs on the wall. I see it all the time because I'm I face the TV, but I can also see it on the wall. Um, that means a lot to me, then. Um, what was something weird you used to do as a child? <laughs> oh, you're going to laugh at this one. So, I had to be good, otherwise I didn't get allowance. If I didn't get allowance, I'd be like, Baba, please, can I have gum? I want gum, so can I have a quarter to go buy gum? No, and gum I was my favorite. I love chewing gum, like like I said in my other video there. I, I love gum. Um, and <laughs> she wouldn't give it to me, wouldn't give it to me, so what I did was I used to pick the gum off the sidewalk that I stepped on. <laughs> Um, yeah, I used to pick that and eat it, and when I saw a fresh one, I was, like, really happy because it had, like, lots of flavor. Yeah, disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> like, oh, I think back at that, and I'm like, Ugh! I'm going to start spinning right now. <laughs> Yeah, that was something weird I did. And I also used to have this thing with OCD there. I'd have to, I'd walk four, like, squares, and I'd have to scratch the cement. I don't know. I stopped that after, I don't know, grade six. <laughs> what, what's the scariest thing you remember that happened to you when you were younger? I was followed home from school one day, and this was absolutely disgusting. I was, like, just completely horrified. Uh, this car was coming up slowly, and I was just, like, starting to walk faster and faster and faster. And they're like, excuse me, can I get directions? And I looked back, and the guy was masturbating in his car. And I ran to the the only house that I was familiar with because one of my friends lived there. I ran into their house and I asked them if they could take me home because this guy was doing that and they took me home and explained it to my grandma and yeah, that was just disgusting. And that happened a couple of times to me. Like, it happened on the way to school once so I was traumatized for the whole day and then like traumatized because I knew I had to walk home and um, what people do yeah uh how is the world now different from how it was like when you were a child well I used to play outside with Tara my best friend we would play outside, we would play ball, we would play 7-up uh, with a tennis ball. You go, uh, there's certain things you do, and it's hard to explain. We'd, we'd play Chinese skipping, we'd play skipping, uh, we'd go for walks, we'd go to 7-Eleven and play video games. I used to play pole position and bomb jack. And, oh my goodness, um, so many different uh, things we used to do. And we were always outside. We were never inside. Uh, like, there was no gaming. Like, Nintendo didn't come out till I was in Winnipeg. And I had Nintendo, and I would play Nintendo. And then when I was done, I'd go outside. And when I was living here, after I moved here... We, I'd go outside with my girlfriends that I met here, and we'd go walking around. We'd go for ice cream. We'd hang out at 7-Eleven or Max. We'd be out there till our curfews, and 
we were never inside, like never ever. Like it was very rare, and that's how it was back then. Like all the kids were outside, young and older, like and everything in between. Like you walked around, and you would not walk one block and not see kids playing outside. And now you don't see that at all. Like I don't see kids anywhere. Not even in the park and and parks when I was younger they were packed with kids. Like you had to sit there and wait for the swings or the teeter totter or whatever you wanna go on because there was so many kids. And the waiting pools, oh gosh, and I, we'd go swimming and there was not Nothing we wouldn't do. It was awesome. We'd go to the mall. We, oh, just, we always did something, you know, and that's probably how I had a high metabolism because I was always go, 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 go. And, you know, and nowadays the kids are too busy playing the games. And I, I know that would be fun because if I grew up with in this era, that would be like, awesome like playing like your favorite games and stuff and going on youtube and everything like the times from the 70s to now are changed so much even from the 80s like the times like it, it's it's such a different world now than when it was and it's so another thing is Back then, everything was so relaxed. Like, I could go outside, take a book, and read a book, and not think of anything. And now, I read a book, and if my phone beeps, I have to check to see if it's something that I have to take care of now, or, you know. Like, there's no downtime. There's, it's completely, you know, go, 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 go. Like, there's, you, everybody has their phone glued to them, and, you know, there's always something going on, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, LinkedIn, Tumblr, T Tinder, all these other sites, like everything. There's so much going on with everybody everywhere that it's just so different. Like times now are just different. There's nothing that's really the same. I can't think of anything anyways. And I really enjoyed it back then because it wasn't so go, 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 go. It was more relaxed and, you know, and now, no, it's not like that anymore. And I don't, it's not ever going to be like that again. Not in my lifetime anyway. I can't see it ever happening. I mean, with technology growing the way it does, it's just going to get more go, go, go and... I won't be around to see that. <laughs> but there you have it, my friends. Um, that is 15, uh, it was 15 of, uh, my throwback tag. 15 of them. So now I hope you know a little more about me. And, uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. I am always open to answering any questions my baby bees have. And you know I love you guys with all my heart. You're all beautiful inside and out. Don't forget that. I love you guys. Keep smiling. Subscribe if you haven't. Videos here to watch. You know the drill. Love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.